What's up guys, it's James Jeff Tiles. I have a package from Paradise Crested Geckos. I drove from work, picked it up, drove back in literally less than five minutes. Um, it has been cold outside, so I'm gonna open it up and we'll take a first look. Luckily my knife's pretty sharp because I don't use this knife ever. But the box is taped up pretty well. Let's leave that right there. And we'll get a first look. Sticker and a business card. Always awesome. Love their stickers. So I ordered 20 quote unquote wholesale Crested Geckos, which is just stuff they are not wanting to take pictures of, stuff they're trying to get rid of. A little. They're, they're not trying to get rid of it. What I mean is it's nicer stuff. All these animals look alive so far. So let's look at them real quick, shall we? So right off the bat, I love all three in this cup. The contrast on that one, the high coloration on this one, again, the contrast with the nice portholes. Um, the contrast on these guys, lots of lots of tiger, harlequin looking animals in here. Um, which is, you know, I prefer Dalmatian myself, but these are some beautiful animals. Lots and lots of high contrast, and, and these tigers, I love the uh, the orange on those. Um, yeah, these are some nice animals. Whoa! That one's dark. That one's green. Alright, that's going to be it. Um, I'll check back up with you guys when I leave work. What is up you guys, it's James from James Jeff Tiles, back again with another video. It is currently Valentine's Day, you're watching this the day after, but I hope you had a good Valentine's Day nonetheless. Um, I had two gecko babies hatch out, two leopard eggs um, were laid, and I had a bunch of geckos come in. Uh, you'll see a short clip of that, or you might have already, I don't know where I put it in the video, but nonetheless, let's take a look at some of the geckos I got first. So, I only had two, two of these little tubs down here. Now I have four there, and then five over there, and I started labeling them. So all my crested tubs are labeled. I need to label my leopards too eventually, but one through four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve through what, twenty? Let's take a look at some of the highlights, shall we? All right, so we'll start with this guy. He's really small, so I don't know how well he's going to show up on camera, but he's super green when he's fired up. And he's just absolutely amazing. He's definitely one I want to keep back. I want to see what he looks like as an adult. Um, and what you want to do is, crested geckos are polygenic, polymorphic. Um, so there's not really a lot of morphs in them right now. You kind of want to just, you kind of just want to breed for whatever you like and what you think people are going to like. So I pick stuff like this, stuff that stands out, stuff that's different. I picked this guy because he looks really green and you know, if I buy a bunch of babies, I'm going to sell the ugliest ones first. Um, there's no point in raising them up and not getting a lot for them. I want to raise up the ones I think are going to be the nicest, just based on pattern, color, um, and size overall. You know, some grow slower than others. You want to get rid of the slow growers first. Um, you want to keep the nicer stuff, the healthier, the stronger stuff. So when they're adults, you can sell them for a lot more. Um, or keep them and add them to your collection, like I might end up doing. With this other gecko, let me grab for you. This one right here is pretty bland, right? It's it's kind of dark. Um, when this guy is fired up, he is super dark, dark red. And I don't know, I don't know how to get him to do it. But when he when he does it, I'm gonna definitely put it in a video for you guys because this guy is crazy dark. Um, that those two are the two holdbacks I picked. Everything else is. It's nice. I mean, look at this. Uh, that's Bingo, who I hatched out. All right, my apologies. That wasn't actually Bingo. Bingo's over there. Um, I was like, okay, so I might have cut some of that out. Um, one of the crested geckos in that tub died. Um, I'm not really sure why. I just it just found it right now as I was filming. Um, it's pretty depressing. I thought it was one that I hatched out. It's actually one that I got from Reptiles by Mac. I've been noticing a lot of their cresteds aren't the healthiest. Um, leopards I get from them are awesome. They kick butt. They're strong. They're healthy. Leopards are pretty bulletproof in that way. Cresteds, I've seen some people keep them pretty bad and you can see the effect on them. 
Um, so this one unfortunately didn't make it. It was a pinstripe. I paid a lot extra to have a pinstripe. Um, so I'm pretty peeved about that, but there's nothing I can do at this point. I'm just gonna mark it dead and put it in the freezer, throw it away when I can. It's just kind of something that happens. Um, but yeah, now I have lots of babies, so stay tuned. I know I said I wanted to do it at the end of the week at some point, but hopefully Sunday I'll post a couple geckos to Morph Market and I'll get a little bit more going. But as you see behind me, I got some stuff set out. We're gonna set up some isopod enclosures and I've never done it before, so let's go along together, shall we? All right, so I have my, my tub. And I don't know what size it is, but if I had to guess, four quarts. Um, so this is going to be for the dwarf whites. I have, I think, 30 dwarf whites coming. And they need very low uh, airflow and very high humidity. So very small holes. I drew two in the front and two in the back just for a little bit of airflow because I'm going to forget they're there. And I don't want them dying when I forget they're there. So I have this tub. Um, the white duckies I'm going to leave in the cup because there's only five and I'm just going to leave them in the deli cup. Or if they come in a small cup, I'm going to just put them in the deli cup. Um, so basically, this is the first time I'm doing isopods, so I'm going to do some eco earth, some java, or actually this is sphagnum, some sphagnum moss, java moss is fish tanks, my bad, and then some magnolias. And I'm going to crush some of these up in the substrate and put some on top and make it nice and pretty, so let's go. And this is just equal earth, by the way. And I'm just gonna break this sphagnum moss up um, again, all these products were available at my local favorite reptile store, Reptile Depot. And basically the way I like to think about it is the isopods are living in the dirt. And if it's just dirt on dirt, there's not, they're just going to be in the dirt. And they don't really want that. They want to be able to latch onto something in the dirt. So the sphagnum boss, um, all the little leaves and stuff on it just kind of creates air pockets. And they can like chill in those little air pockets little hidey holes for them and the leaves and something for them to munch on while they're under there. So I want to do that and I'm going to break the sphagnum moss up so it's all an even mix. You don't want a big clump of dirt and you don't want a big clump of moss and you don't want a big clump of just leaves. And I am being a little messy but that's alright. I can clean my table later. Um, so that looks good and what we're going to do when we get them is we're going to moist down one side so one side is a moist, moist side and one side is a slightly drier side just so they have options. Um, I'm going to take a couple more leaves and leaf bits I guess and just put them right on top and I'm not cooking my leaves. Um, I believe these leaves are already treated and if they're not I'm not really worried about it because um, they're bugs and they eat dead stuff. I also got this cork flap. All right, that was a lot of work. I need a vacuum now. But isopods love to climb on stuff and eat rotting plant materials, so that cork bark will sit right there, and hopefully they'll slowly eat it. And hopefully, hopefully they, 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 hopefully they do well. Um, I'm gonna grab my spray bottle, and I'll wetten it down, moisten it. Um, that's gonna be my wet side. So I'm gonna give everything, I'm gonna give everything a good miss. They're not gonna be here for a couple days, um, depending on the weather. But this side I'm gonna get extra wet. And something I've personally found that helps with humidity, if you're really trying to lock humidity in, is you can spray the lid. So what I'll do is I'll spray that side. So that way when the moisture levels, when, when, when the moisture rises, it just goes right back up to that. Um, so that's going to be it. It's just a waiting game at this point for the S-Pods to come in. Um, like I said, I got white duckies and I got dwarf whites. Um, 
hopefully they do well. Hopefully I make some money on them and hopefully I put some of those Cresteds on Wharf Market by Sunday. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that definitely helps out the channel. Uh, maybe up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, jamesjeptiles at gmail.com. I will be at the Lodi Show and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.